On July 20, 2020, a convoy of vehicles and militants from the Jalisco New Generation Cartel threatened the Mexican government with two propaganda videos. Sometime before that, the cartel had tried to procure some heavy-duty machine guns from the U.S., and it's believed their soldiers are armed to the teeth with several kinds of rocket-type grenades. Yeah, somewhat like those ones you see wailing down an entire helicopter in Hollywood movies. But because of those two videos and many other like them, the distinction between the Mexican military and CJNG was no longer recognizable. To many people, these recent incidents placed the CJNG as the second most dangerous drug cartel in Mexico behind Cartel de Sinaloa. And according to several verified sources, the cartel is ruled by none other than the most wanted criminal in Mexico and one of the most wanted dons in the US. His name, Nemesio Oseguera Cervantes, aka El Mencho. You see, El Mencho is worth the whole video on his own. And we have a special episode just for him on our channel. So, you can take some time to check it out. But in this one, we'll focus only on the Grupo Elite, which to some is merely the military faction of the CJNG. Whereas to many others, it is the most brutal cartel paramilitary force ever formed in Acapulco. However, that epithet oftentimes isn't really for them. In fact, many people believe that legend because very few cherry-picked videos that have entangled the internet in a web of fear. As such, the Grupo Elite has become the hub of internet folklore and content creation. It has captured the imagination of thousands of people, and their adjectives have been used in countless pieces of fan arts and propaganda papers. But who exactly are the Grupo Elite? Are they really as powerful as people fantasize them to be? How did they get so popular and widespread in the first place? And like any curious mind would ask, is there a hint of frightening truth that the Mexican government won't dare to face them? Today, we want to look close up at the Grupo Elite of the Jalisco New Generation Cartel, otherwise known as the CJNG. So, fasten your seatbelt and get ready to meet the elite group CJNG as our team of world-class experts dig up facts from two of the recent videos that leaked. So, let's start from the point of inception. The Grupo Elite operates in Juanajuato as a paramilitary wing of the CJNG. They drive around in armored tanks, operate with US-class sniper rifles, and walk around in matching outfits slapped with fearsome logos of a pirate skull. Although the report varies, the group perhaps has over 1,000 soldiers and no one can really place how stocked their arsenal is. But while the name Jalisco would make you think that they operate only within Jalisco, the Grupo Elite operates almost throughout Mexico. Yet, from California Sur and New York to Brazil, all the way to Africa, the Grupo Elite helps protect the CJNG crime hubs. Criminal activities the cartel does include armed conflicts, criminal extortion, and oil theft. In a single year, they have made almost $15 billion. So, if you think about how the Grupo Elite was able to secure such expensive high-grade weapons, connect the dots. But then again, the Grupo Elite wasn't always that rich because the CJNG was only able to spread its wings in 2017. That was after it broke its alliance with the Sinaloa cartel and resultantly fell under the rule of El Mencho. However, the group isn't under the direct control of El Mencho himself. Instead, the head honcho of this elite group is a man named Ricardo Ruiz Velasco, aka El Doble R. And like El Mencho, he's a man crazy enough to try assassination of a chief police. Yeah, that's how fearless, highly trained, and competent they claim they are. But in reality, there are several reasons you should beg to differ. For one, the henchmen within the Grupo Elite do not always gather in a large show-offs, nor do they drive around in dozens of camouflage convoys as shown in many of the videos circling the net. In an actual sense, these guys only work more in stealth mode to hide their identity and to ensure the success of most of their operations. The only time they converge is when they have to send fear messages to their rivals and the police. While many people think that they do this to intimidate their opponents, you can't rule out the fact they might be actually using this technique to sublime their own fear. This thus makes them more like President Ballistic of North Korea who parades nukes on the streets to hide his own fear and pain. If you beg to differ, let's look closely at one video that stormed the internet sometime in October of 2020. In this video, you can see a man firing non-stop at someone at an audio repair shop. But a short while after that, he pulled out the narco message and on second thought, he shot more bullets at the victim, took a photo of the message before he finally fled. After a thorough analysis of the message he snapped, a blurry skull logo particular to the Grupo Elite placed them as the prime suspects of that attack. Although to some, that's quite 
debatable. But if we are to go with that, this would mean that Grupo Elite are not as organized as we think they are. Because for one, the pattern of attack we see in this video looks more or less like a sensational attack compared to the Avenger-like approach we all pictured. Come to think of it, it's almost impossible for a group like that to always travel around the city with a free pass, even if they receive some amount of informal protection from corrupt authorities. So, it would make more sense for the almighty Grupo Elite to work more discreetly than what their propaganda video suggests. In another light, this video also raises questions that most of the videos roaming the internet were taken by the criminals themselves. Although, we cannot be so sure about why they do this, but then again, we can't rule this out. As said earlier, one of the major mysteries that surround the Grupo Elite is the way they operate, considering how they always portray their might. But the truth is, is that the nightmare scenario of seeing a drug cartel operating with such unquestionable freedom is quite far-fetched. So, to explain that, let's take a look at another video recorded in December of 2020. Back then was the month when another drug lord named El Hualo was assassinated. Luckily, this video shows the exact moment he was attacked. In it, we see a group of about five people carrying out the attack. This again is another reason to believe that these guys operate in much fewer numbers than we thought and are even less organized. To further worsen the matter, reports had it that the attackers in the video later got ambushed by the police. In the end, two of them died in the eventual car crash and the other two were arrested, proving that the Mexican soldiers are just as capable as they are. Uh, we know what you're thinking. This cannot be much of a proof. Well, you're right. But how about the series of incidents where the Mexican police task force went toe-to-toe -to -toe with different troops of the Grupo Elite? Well, one important showdown was that of October 16, 2020. That day, the National Guard and the police force dealt a strong blow against the cartel ranch in Lagos de Moreno in Jalisco. That ranch housed one of the biggest arsenals of the elite group, which contained grenade launchers, swords, machines, several key kilos of drugs, and lots more. In June of the same year, almost 2,000 of the cartel bank accounts got frozen and more than 30 of the CJNG members were caught alive. If nothing else, these cases prove that, despite their fearsome public relations, they are not really as powerful as we think they are. But then again, it's quite obvious that the CJNG are formidable in their own right. However, to assume that the Mexican military is no match for the Grupo Elite from just a few videos released by the organization is next to preposterous. So, to get better judgments or at least get an idea of how these guys operate, we should look closely at and explore all available resources that we have. Unfortunately, at the moment, the only things we can rely on are these Scarface short videos hovering over the net. But to us, we still believe that these two videos give us some of the most objective perspectives to study the group by. Because for one, the members don't seem to be aware of this security footage before the PMPPP attacks. So, they did little to nothing to mask their true mode of operation as they did with the television and social media. But it's very unlikely that the pandemic could have dimmed their mode of operation since other drug cartels didn't slack off that much. So, there's a good chance that the group of elites are overrated. And the fact that many people are prioritizing some videos over others could be responsible for this misnomer. Though we can't really be sure whether it's the cartel's propaganda working or the works of some content creators hoping to rake in a few clicks and ratings. But one thing's for sure, the group of elite really is causing a lot of stir, making them one very dangerous cartel to reckon with. Of course, it's no wonder that El Mencho is the top of the most wanted criminals in Mexico. And we've come to the end of today's video, but if you like factual analysis of drug cartels and many other related stories like this one, then lucky you, because you just stumbled across the right channel. So, take a moment to give us a thumbs up down there, subscribe to the channel, and get yourself a Netflix of stories like this one. Bye for now, and we'll see you all next time.